Hey friends, this is Prokopis from String Systems. In today's lesson from the SFS Basic series, we will look at how to construct a very easy and movable fingering for major pentatonic scales using the String Fragment System. And if you want to know more about SFS, you can use the link below to get my free course called SFS Fretboard Secrets. So let's get started. A few days ago I released another video in this series on 2 plus 3 diagonal fingerings for minor pentatonics. 2 plus 3 simply means playing 2 notes on one string and then 3 on the next to cover the 5 notes of the pentatonic scale. In today's video we'll basically use the same system but adjust it for major pentatonic scales. The string fragments are the same just in a different order. Instead of 2 plus 3 we'll turn it into 3 plus 2. Which is actually the same thing since this 2 string system is a cycle. In theory all SFS systems keep cycling. You could have a 7 string or a 27 string guitar and they still work. That's another advantage of SFS. Anyway, more importantly, the note which we will consider the root for our scale changes. Now, I'm not completely sure why people call this shape the frying pan. I think it kind of looks like one, but I don't really care. It's very easy to play, so I used SFS to turn it into this simple movable string fragment system. So for example, if we want to use this system to play an A minor pentatonic on the fourth string, we just place the minor root on the A on the 4th string. This gets us to the right place. We can then of course improvise, create riffs or whatever we want to do using all those notes. So how do we turn this into a major frying pan? Simple, we just place the major root note on the A and consider that one the root. This turns the same system into an A major pentatonic scale. Okay, we know that one of the great benefits of SFS versus memorizing box shapes is that it allows you to move freely everywhere on the fretboard. So how do we do this with the major frying pan? We just jump to every A and play the system. You only need to be careful when crossing from the lower four strings to the top two when you need to shift one fret up. If you have any experience with SFS, you may have already learned to do this automatically. So in that one occasion, the system will be slightly altered. But I think it's much better that you see all these options in action. So I'll just lay down a simple backing track and quickly play over it in all positions using this system. After that, I'll show you how we can use the same system to create a long diagonal 3 plus 2 pentatonic fingering. Another use for this 3 plus 2 system is to build diagonal fingerings with it. Remember how we said that SFS is a cycle and we can cover as many strings as you want? Well, if we put the major root on string 6 for example, we can go through SF1 and SF2 three times to cover a 6 string guitar. And then we can improvise through the whole thing, gracefully crossing through the fretboard from low to high.
That's it, with very little memorization we came up with a quick and effective way to travel through almost the whole fretboard. But this is just one of the many, many things you can do with the string fragment system. To learn more, I invite you to get my free course called SFS Fretboard Secrets, in which you will learn cool new ways to jump around the fretboard and improve your guitar improvisation skills. There should be a link for it somewhere below this video. Thanks for watching. This is Progobis from String Systems reminding you to enjoy your practice and be effective.